Um, now that I got these thank yous out of the way, um, I've got a lot of stuff for, for our, our audience to digest because um, before I leave tonight, I just have a lot of things I want to say. Um, I don't have any hatred for anybody in the Lake County Fielders organization. I know there's been spewing here and there from the vitriol of the fans because of what's going on. I just don't have time to hate. I just and It's not sour grapes. It's the truth, um, something that I've been harboring in for a long time and in no way represents any other member of the Lake County Fielders organization, the radio station 1220 WKRS, or its parent company, Next Media Chicago. It's all my opinion. It's all coming from my mouth. Um, the Fielders ownership might want to offer apologies like nothing happened or want to play the blame game. They didn't pay me all the money owed to me, and that's why I'm leaving right now. I asked them to do so before this week and before tonight's game to receive the money that I was owed. And even if I did get an apology from Fielder's ownership for all the unnecessary transgressions that occurred while the team was on the road, it's come too late. I have had friends, including those very talented players that I mentioned, work for the Fielders, get treated unfairly, seen it firsthand. Unfortunately, I won't get an apology from ownership to me on behalf of those players, those coaches, those staff members. They can't be here right now. They can't let their voice be heard on the airways, but I will be the voice of the voiceless. Simply put, I'm not coming back, and here's why. Two months ago, the fielders were in dire need of a play-by-play -play announcer. I didn't inquire at all until I was informed of the situation by my friend Brian Chimino, who's working the board here tonight at WKRS. I didn't need a job because I already had one, and it's a damn good one at that. I'm proud to still have that job. So I get this job with the fielders. From week one on the road, there were issues with meal money. For the coaches, the players, myself, as that road trip continued, those six weeks, those issues kept growing and growing. I kept quiet about it out of respect for the team in the front office, but internally, the entire team and I were furious. Ignoring the situation that went on with the team on the road, whether I was the one that mentioned it publicly or somebody else did, it's damn insulting to those players and coaches who were busting their butts for six weeks away from home to bring a winner for the people of Lake County. So I swallowed the bitter pill because I was doing the job, doing my job for this team. Then the situation affects me personally while we were on the road. Needless to say, I had a hard time defending these problems when it finally afflicted me. And you know what? I got sick of having to witness the coaches take money out of their pocket to give me and the players money for food or for airplane baggage fees. I got sick of having to see these players have their hopes and dreams dashed because they weren't paid in a timely manner for doing their job. I got sick of having to see the group of players that I grew to become great friends with have to split up because ownership was stringing us along while on the road. I'm leaving with my head held high, and who knows, maybe I'll go somewhere in the future to a team where staff members, coaches, players, and myself will all be treated with respect, dignity, and class. As for me, I'm going to enjoy my weekend with my friends. Adam, Jerome, Brian, I know you're all going to be there. We're going to be having a good time Sunday night, money in the bank. It's going to be fun. After I'm gone, I know Fielders fans will support this team, but I'm just a spoke on the wheel, and the wheel will keep turning because that's just how it is in baseball. I understand that. The team will make money in spite of these issues because there are good people he here that work for this team, and these new players do deserve your support regardless of what has happened. But in my opinion, the problem is that those in charge really don't care, and they don't give a day. My problem is I care too much. I care too much for the former players, the former coaches, the fan base, the current employees, and everyone else associated with the Lake County Fielders. That being said, I did not need this job, and because of the circumstances that affected the former coaches, former players, and myself, I don't want this job anymore. Good night and good luck.